Before I start this video, I just want to say we are so close to 800 subscribers, like literally five. It's insane. So if you enjoy this video, please consider subbing. I really want to hit that 1000 subscriber milestone. It would truly be a Christmas miracle. Hello and welcome back to the long awaited part two of the twisted history of the Valkyrie home. Last time we talked about their origins and some of the older weirder Valks, and today we're going to be getting into some more old and weird Valks. I guess. Starting off today strong with the Sinister Valkyrie. Look, I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen this one before, and that's probably for a good reason. It was a special award to Emerald underscore ITE for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I love stories like these, hats that are awarded to very special people for very special reasons. Think like the Ultra Commando and the Diamond Hat. Next is a little more interesting. The Emerald Valkyrie is weird. I guess it's kind of like what the Sparkle Time Valkyrie was trying to be. At any rate, however, this hat is rare, like super rare. Probably rarer than the Black Valk. Actually, yeah, it is rarer than the Black Valk. Only 50 of these things were ever sold on Roblox, which is about three times less than the Black Valk. I have to say this might be up there with the prior in terms of looks though. While the Black Valk goes well with pretty much anything, this one definitely fits in well with other hats as well. Especially if you like green. Like, like really light green. Next up is the winner for the ugliest hat in the Valkyrie series. Seriously, the Summer Valk is so nasty looking. Not only is the visor too small, but the colors don't work well at all, and the wings are french fries. They, they look like french fries. Not to mention the fact that it's 25,000 Robux. Talk about a ripoff. I mean, this one isn't really special other than why would you ever buy it? The Ice Valkyrie, known far and wide as the Look, I'm a Traitor hat. Definitely overused, definitely overpriced, definitely an inside out version of the Violet Valkyrie. That's not a joke, by the way. It's literally just the reverse texture of the Violet Valk. I don't know why people like it so much, but yeah, I guess. Also, get ready to see this in trade hangouts a lot because it is a hot ticket item for sure. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs oh. some milk! The next one looks almost worse than the Summer Valk. The Valkyrie 3000 just looks like a helmet. A helmet that covers your eyes. And it's not like mesh or anything. Like, that's just straight up metal in front of your eye, dude. Look, I don't know where I'm going with this. I mean, I guess it's trying to be all futuristic and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I love futuristic stuff, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. Okay, this next one needs some explaining to do because the way you obtained it is a really long and tedious process involving one of Roblox's most hated events to date, the Valkyrie of the Metaverse. Oh yeah, it's a recent one. In fact, some really old viewers of my channel will remember the stream I did looking for the Metaverse Swords. Same deal. The original Metaverse event was split into four sections, each representing a different champion. Each champion had several games that you could play to earn rewards. Clothes, hats, gear... No, not this time. However, the big prize for each of them was the box. Each box contained a special item specific to that champion, and if you got all four, nothing happened. That's right, get you baited. <laughs> I mean, hey, why have a cool event with a cool item when you could just, you know, AFK and spawn and pick up random drops? Yeah, I mean, uh, those random drops, just, they fall from the sky. <laughs> just pick them up. Pick them up and congrats. You just did such a good job AFKing and spawn. Here's a Valkyrie helm that looks nothing like the leak in the promotional art. I mean, seriously, talk about false advertising. People were... Not happy, to say the least. And to wrap up the Valkyrie helmets, we have the Valkyrie of Testing, a uniquely shaded purple and white bulk that is handed out to specific QA testers who sign a non-disclosure agreement and help out with Roblox events. Basically, the way you become a QA tester is if you apply through the Roblox developer forum. They help test Roblox events before they're released to see if they work properly. However, they have to sign a non-disclosure agreement which is basically a document stating that you won't leak whatever it is you're testing until it's actually released. Oh, but we aren't done. No, no, no. We still have one more category of Valkyrie helmets to go. Except they aren't helmets. 
their glasses, like, you know, like sunglasses with wings. Sunglasses with wings. I, I, I would go over these in detail one by one, but they're all off sale. Except for one, the black Valk shades, or whatever they're called, are limiteds, and trust me, they aren't worth buying. I mean, they're, they, all of them, they're ugly. They look very ugly. Anyway, that's all of the Valkyrie helmets. That's it. That was, those were the other, like, seven or so? <laughs> Look, I, I don't know. This was just a little part two for the first part because people wanted it. But hey, if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I really, 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 really want to hit that thousand subscriber milestone and we're getting so close. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.